Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Borean International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty the Supreme Commander, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Saman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronised today the Joint Live Ammunition Military Drill, Power of Determination, which was held by the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF. Forces from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates participated in the drill, which was held on the occasion of the BDF's Golden Jubilee. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalama, the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Deir bin Saga Al Nuemi, and a number of senior officers. His Majesty was accompanied by the Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. As His Majesty arrived at the location of the celebration, he was received by the Chief of General Staff of Saudi Arabia's Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Abdurrahman bin Saleh bin Balyan, the Chief of Staff of the UAE's Armed Forces and the Commander of the Joint Peninsula Shield Forces, Major General Wali bin Fala al Tahiri, who have congratulated His Majesty on the BDF's Golden Jubilee. His Majesty welcomed them, expressing appreciation for their participation in the drill. The ceremony commenced with the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب المعالي المشير الركن الشيخ خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة القائد العام لقوة دفاع البحرين حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة 
ضيوفنا الكرام أيها الحفل الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي صاحب الجلالة يشرفنا أن نرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب في هذا اليوم الأغر ونحن نحتفل بمرور خمسين عاما على تأسيس جلالتكم حفظكم الله قوة دفاع البحرين وختام التمرين التعبوي قوة العزم تحت رعاية جلالتكم أيدكم الله والذي تشارك فيه قوة دفاع البحرين ومشاركة أشقاء من المملكة العربية السعودية ودولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة سيدي صاحب الجلالة خير ما نستهل به حفلنا هذا آيات عطرة من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعكم الرائد ناصر راشد الغدير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا لقيتم الذين كفروا زحفا فلا تولوهم الأدبار ومن يولهم يومئذ دبره إلا متحرفا لقتال أو متحيزا إلى فئة أو متحيزا إلى فئة فقد باء بغضب من الله ومأواه جهنم وبئس المصير فلم تقتلوهم ولكن الله قتلهم وما رميت إذ رميت ولكن الله رمى وليبلي المؤمنين منه بلاء حسنا إن الله سميع عليم ذلكم وأن الله موهن كيد الكافرين إن تستفتحوا فقد جاءكم الفتح وإن تنتهوا فهو خير لكم وإن تعودوا نعد ولن تغني عنكم فئتكم شيئا ولو كثرت وأن الله وأن الله مع المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم Then His Majesty was briefed on the phases of the drill and the set goals. جلالة على بركة الله وبفضل من نبدأ ختام التمرين التعبوي قوة العزم والذي يأتي بالذكرى الخمسين لتأسيس جلالتكم أيدكم الله. قوة دفاع البحرين تبدأ الآن الطائرات المقاتلة قصف أهدافها وتكمل الآن طائرات الإف 16 قصف أهدافها His Majesty announced the beginning of the drill and the participating forces performed their assigned tasks with great precision. His Majesty congratulated the BDF's officers, non-commissioned officers and members, as well as to the people of Bahrain on this national occasion. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the BDF's affiliates and their dedication to performing their noble tasks, noting their extensive contributions to the development of the National March. He also hailed their efforts in solidarity with the brothers to defend the region and maintain world peace. 
His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the sacrifices they made for their country and for the better future they created for the coming generations. His Majesty recalled the laying of the foundation soon of the BDF by the latest Haina Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa as one of his main achievements during his era. He added that the BDF anniversary is a remarkable event in the National March and a source of pride, affirming his confidence in the BDF officers. His Majesty the King expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for their keenness and support to the armed forces, expressing appreciation for the role in enhancing the forces' ability throughout their march. He also expressed thanks to the BDF commander for his efforts in developing the force, expressing appreciation for the efforts of the BDF elite officers since its establishment. His Majesty the King welcomed the armed forces of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, which participated along with the Bahrain Defence Force in the drill. His Majesty affirmed that this participation reflects the strong cooperation between the forces, evident in the participation in the Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab coalition led by Saudi Arabia. He also noted the strong historic stance of these countries against terrorism in all its forms, adding that the current challenges of the region requires integration and unity. His Majesty also hailed the high level of performance and professionalism demonstrated by the drill by the participating countries, valuing the role of the organisers of this comprehensive drill. His Majesty the King affirmed that the Bahrain Defence Force will continue its efforts, as it always has, and maintain the security and stability of the Kingdom, wishing all participants further success. نشاهد سوية سيتعامل بعد قليل صواريخ الميم دال الكورنت مع أهداف الدروع المعادية وهو من الأسحة الحديثة المضادة للدروع والتحصينات ويتميز بدقة الإصابة كما تبدأ الدبابات رمايتها المباشرة على أهداف العدو تقوم الآن قوات التثبيت بأداء واجباتها بكل كفاءة واقتدار طائرة بيل 407 من دولة الإبارة العربية المتحدة دخول طائرات الكوبرا لإسناد قوات الهجوم المعاكس وتتحرك الآن قوات الهجوم المعاكس على يسار المنصة والمكونة من مشاه آلية ودبابات كما تتميز هذه الطائرات بالقدرة العالية على المناورة بدأت الآن قوات الهجوم المعاكس بشن عملياتها على قوات العدو والمكونة من آليات مشاة آلية والدبابات
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift by the end of the ceremony. The BDF Commander-in-Chief presented His Royal Highness the Crown Prince with a commemorative gift. The Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, presented His Majesty the King with a military vehicle that was used in the BDF in 1985. A number of officers and participants in the drill greeted His Majesty the King. Mohri and TV will present a special show on the occasion tomorrow after the 8 o'clock news. The Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, inspected the forces participating in the Joint Live Ammunition Military Drill, Power of Determination. The Commander-in-Chief stated that this celebration coincides with the day occasion for all Bahraini people, which is the patronage of His Majesty the King, adding that the Saudi Armed Forces and the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces also participate in the occasion, which contributes to development of combat level. He added that he aspires for a better future under the patronage of His Majesty the Supreme Commander, the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Qadabiya Palace. On the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, his Royal Highness the Prime Minister healed the role of the BDF established by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with his efforts in developing it to achieve excellence in training and armament and to protect the country and its gains. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and all BDF affiliates on this national occasion. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to provide all guarantees and support the upcoming electoral process in Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He also directed to create technical capabilities 
especially the database of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, to serve the democratic merit in the commercial environment in a transparent manner. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister instructed to follow the highest levels of quality and international standards when creating and paving main and vital streets. The Prime Minister also directed to take into consideration the timings of maintenance work to reduce traffic congestions. His Royal Highness instructed the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport to maintain and complete sports facilities in Joy and Asgar. The Cabinet discussed imposing stricter punishments for the offence of manufacturing, possessing and using flammable and explosive devices with the purpose of endangering the lives of people or public or private funds. The Cabinet then referred this memo on to, with this regard to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet followed up on the implementation of ongoing 100 projects in the sectors of roads, sewage and buildings with an estimated value of about 164 million dinars. The Cabinet also reviewed the projects that were submitted in tenders during 2017, which reached 182 projects. The Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding on the cooperation between the National Oil and Gas Authority and the Bahrain Petroleum Company, BAPCO, with the British Council for Health and Safety and Environment, with the aim of exchanging expertise between the two sides in the field of safety and health in the workplace. The Cabinet also instructed the Ministry of Interior to study the formation of a security apparatus to protect the aircraft of the national carrier from kidnapping and terrorism following a proposal from the Representatives' Council. The Cabinet discussed a number of proposals submitted by the Representatives' Council and approved the Government's responses to them, as recommended by the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, including the direct and indirect Government support strategy appointing an authority to supervise export of chemicals, the role of embassies in the treatment of disease abroad, and the manufacture and display of traditional Bahraini crafts. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund of Fallen Servicemen, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, issued today Edict No. 1 of 2018, appointing Sheikh Khalid bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa as Director of the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen with immediate effect. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Commander of the Royal Guard, his Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Bahrain Defence Forces, the BDF, Golden Jubilee. His Highness affirmed that the achievement of the BDF over the past 50 years was the result of the solid foundation laid by His Majesty the King. He expressed pride in the BDF's accomplishments and stated that the BDF's primary goal is to protect the Kingdom, maintain its security, stability and national gains as well as to participate with its brothers to maintain the safety of the region and the world, thanks to the support and follow-up of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that His Majesty the King developed a clear strategy for the BDF in order for it to steadily grow in various weapons and foundations and to maintain the security and stability of the nation and its achievements to serve the Bahraini citizens. The BDF also played a humanitarian role by participating in humanitarian and relief work in the region. His Highness commended the BDF affiliates' outstanding performance, discipline and courage and their defence readiness, combat and military efficiency, which is a source of prize for the wise leadership and the people and a regional and international model. His Highness Brigadier General continued to say that over the past 50 years, the BDF has been performing its roles professionally and efficiently primarily protecting the country against all enemies. He noted that the BDF proved that its role as a stability maintaining force in the region that contributes to maintaining regional security and peace, with its contributions in many military and humanitarian tasks. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pledged that he and all the BDF affiliates will be at His Majesty's service to maintain Bahrain security and stability and protect it from all who wish to harm. Royal Guard Commander His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronised today the graduation of a new batch of Royal Guard recruits in the presence of the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The ceremony began with a practical military parade led by His Highness Captain Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, including slow and fast military manoeuvres. 
A detailed presentation was made by the Commandant of the Royal Guard School about the theoretical and practical programmes, applications and exercises implemented throughout the stages of training. نلتقي بسموكم الكريم ونحن نحتفل بتحرير نخبة جديدة من الجنود المستجدين الدفعة 23 والذين قاضوا 16 أسبوعا من العمل الدؤوب متسلحين بالعلم والمعرفة وبشكل عام جنود من أبطال قوة الدفاع فلا يسعني إلا أني أشكركم وأشكر هؤلاء الأهالي المتواجدين معنا لتربية هؤلاء الأبطال ليكون معنا صفا بصف في اراضي الشرف والمعارك لخدمه لخدمه الدين والوطن. His Highness the Commander of the Royal Guard distributed the certificates to the graduates as well as appreciative prizes to the high achievers. On this occasion, His Highness praised the high moral spirits he sensed from the graduates and the military skills gained during the course. His Highness thanks the course instructors for the plausible efforts exerted to attain the outstanding professional level exhibited by the course graduates. His Highness urged the graduates to continue their academic and career progress, wishing them success. <laughs>